right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ainayar's one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard-pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharn? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! Ugh. Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! Bullets! All hands! Man your stations! Everyone with me? Here they come! Was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your horses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive. A 
But I thought he was... Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Phoenix's fiery fundament! Have you no normal enemies? Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Or was it my ass? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, fog at me! Way anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friends. It is not blood that runs through in these veins. These foes will not fall easily. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot. And this one. This one. Should we make for the ship? Not yet. Wait for my signal.
What do you want? <sighs> That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Cheerio! <laughs> 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 <sighs> Do keep up, my boy! Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. What have I done? My lord!
between here and Walud. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north-northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells... Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Full ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye! Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Try. 
later. She naught before me but a guttering flame. But to where? You... What did you do to Joshua? Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. 
Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. <sighs> we don't have to do this! Dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. 
It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos, you wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield? They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... Divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? and abandon everything we hold dear. We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back! The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. The 
This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself? I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all.
to continue on. Having pledged my life to those I love. And I will gladly bear your burdens too. Until my last breath. Clive. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Find a way to save each other. That we might one day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last Mother Crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. 
After our brush with the Ein Heia, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. I should visit Joshua. Assuming time. Allow it. <laughs> Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. A Kashik. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravost. How was she? At the Enterprise, I mean. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. But did, did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh, no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um... 
let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A, a heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Lost. It can't be true. Have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? With your gear, or I'm saying for you, dear. And mm, the stew's awfully thin. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least.